One day somebody came to his office and said, eh, you see, pastor, you need to have other friends. Your wife is not the only one that should be your friend. He was advertising himself as a friend. We are friends. He can crack jokes and I understand what he's saying. And he cracks a lot of jokes when he's in a joking mood. <laughs> you know, otherwise he's in the spirit, in prayer and all that. But when he comes back from praying, he can be just so absolutely sweet. Alright? But in as much as all that is on, I don't talk to him anyhow. I don't... I don't call him by his name. I don't, I don't talk down at him. It doesn't matter what I want to communicate. I have the mental understanding that he's my superior officer. I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying. I realize that many of us women handle our husbands with some level of levity. I'm sorry, oh, don't call me old-fashioned. But this issue of calling your husband baby, me, I don't understand. I'm sorry, oh, maybe I'm from the stone age. Yeah, if he calls you baby, oh, that's good. He can call you baby. But when you keep on calling him baby, you start to see him like a baby in your eyes. Oh yeah, once in a while, okay, if you so, you're so much in love with the word baby, fine. You can call him baby. After all, he's your baby. You have to baby your husband and take care of him and love him and, you know, put his head on your, on your laps and baby him, you know, like a baby. Oh yes, good, that's fine. But when that becomes his established title, I don't understand. saying that you should be quivering and shaking when you see your husband coming like the lion of the tribe of his house arriving in the night and then all the children dive under the bed and dive under the table and they, they suddenly fell asleep they were awake see so as soon as they heard the sound of the car outside they said ah oh boss daddy don't call find your level everybody dives to their room and dives under the blanket and they are fast asleep and they either wake up before he gets out of the house and they are out or they stay in and let him go first no that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about a respectful disposition a, 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 a reverential disposition of honor, of deferring to him. You can't be in public and people are talking to him somehow and you join the people. Never. You stand with him and say, whatever you would think, I believe what he said. You should be his greatest cheerleader. Your assignment in his life, which we didn't talk about. That was the first passage we read when God said, it's not good that man should be alone. Let us make him and help meet for him. And then God caused Eve to, be, to comfort out of his rib. Your assignment is to help him. Another day we'll talk about help. Sisters, madams, married women, let me come back to you. There are some of us that married looking a certain way and along the line we have transformed to something else. You want to look the way everybody else is looking and then suddenly your husband wakes up one day and says, where is my wife? Where is the girl I married? Both from size that has changed to complexion that has changed. To everything. And you look many times different from who he married. There's a problem there. Let's get back to basics. And find out what is the fundamental person. The original look. The original personality that your husband married.